Hey, happy Super Bowl. Happy Super Bowl. Happy Super Bowl Sunday to you and yours, Super from my family Bowl. to your family. Alright, let people load up. Three Super Bowl bags. Did you guys first IG Live? I did one I've once. I've never done one ever. you never done one? I did one once, it was weird. I had like two people watching me on a, shoot. Like, on a photo shoot like three years ago. Hey, ain't two people anymore. How you doing? What's hey, going on? <laughs> it's sideways. Hey guys, hi. Hey, hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. Hey. Hey, Happy y'all. Happy Sunday. Hey, y'all. Happy Sunday. Happy Super Bowl. Running Rams won. Hella good in the open door. I'm tight. All right, so we have your questions on Twitter. We'll let everybody load up. I know our very, very lovely Melanie is going to record this. Hey, Sunday in um, stereo. <laughs> you guys... Hi from Mississippi. If you're if yeah, you're legal of age, pour yourself up a shot. We're what do you see to the F? Kevin Weinberger was good. What? No way. Yeah. Pour yourself up a shot. The Rams won. We got to Congrats on Open Door. Thank you. I got got Dublin. I got a smash song. The whole video is just going to be sweet. you guys like this. <laughs> yeah, we're like, hey. Well, <laughs> all the words are sideways. Yeah. That's your night. Right. Pretty right. good. Oh, from the UK, 3 a.m. Here you go. What's up? 3 a.m. Whoa. Yeah, people are staying up. Uh, right, just had on. to watch the American Super Bowl priority. <laughs> I mean, we got. Are we gonna? Are we gonna get 300? Are we gonna get 300? Can oh, I get 300? 300? Sober? No, we're not. <sighs> not exactly. So anybody that's legal of age, pour yourself up a shot. Take a shot with us. We just hit 300 people. Let's 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 do a shot. What's up, Canada? Yeah. Hey, this is to everybody that streamed our song over 73,000 times. This is to you guys. It's fucking nuts. Cheers. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Mm. Oh. Milagro tequila. Yep. Woo! This is good stuff. It's definitely tequila. All right. Well, let's start it up. Let's start it up. We had got over... 200 questions from you guys. 256 to be exact. Oh, hey from Greece. What's up? Hey, Greece. <laughs> Running your frequent bedwetter, apparently. What? What? Who told you? God damn it. All right. Here we go. And I'm going to try to answer questions that we haven't answered yet in, in interviews. For all three of you, if you could open for a band, which band would it be? And bonus question... They ask you to join them for one song during their show. Which song is it? Easy. Good question, Gabe. GCMSC93. I would have to say for me it would be Captain Deech and the Shrimp Shack Shooters. <laughs> is that your honest answer? No. Okay. But bonus points. Bonus points for anyone who knows what that reference is. Johnny! Uh, this, this question. These are the Twitter questions. Oh, okay. Um, open for any band and then join the first song? You guys answer first. I'll think about it. Well, it's always going to be Kings of Leon. And uh, if they asked for one song, it would be Pyro. Um, Just so we could have that epic what's, Mm -hmm. what's, watch her roll moment. Watch her roll. Mm -hmm. Can you feel that? I'm going to say the Chili Peppers. Ooh, I'll be right there with you. Yeah, that would be fun. What song, Mm -hmm. though? Mm -hmm. Ooh, what song? I want to open up for the Minus the Bear reunion show. That would be, uh, and play, play with them. What song? What song would I play with them? Yeah, one song, one song. One Absinthe one. Party at the Fly Honey Warehouse. Is that another fake title? No, that is absolutely real. That's, okay. uh, one of the greatest songs ever in Minus the Bear, Absinthe Party at the Fly Honey Warehouse off the yes. album Highly Refined Pirates. Okay, Ronan. Go check it out. LOL. Bah! Cheers to you. Next question. Rockin' the Lakers jersey, buddy. Yeah, that's Kobe, guys. Guys, check out my hat. This is my special Super Bowl hat. Any kind of uh, sports event, I rock this hat. This was not planned. Johnny's wearing number eight. Let's go. All right, here we go. Go sports. Oh, this is a good question. Dude, they came with the questions. Johnny, yeah, very get your stupid crooked face <laughs> out of the frame. <laughs> the whole video is literally going to be like this. <laughs> I'm trying to read what people are writing. Sorry. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And again, thank you everybody for joining. 
In terms of songwriting, do you like to have lyrics done first or a melody? And does not having one completely finished or thought out make it harder for the other one to come together? This is Nick at Because Evan. Nice question. Very good, very good question. I think for us so far, it's been you guys having um, melodies and music and riffs and uh, sort of verse. And uh, 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 I guess some of them have had chorus ideas. And then I sort of, uh, I listen to it and kind of come up with stuff on the, on the, on the spot. I don't like writing lyrics. Um, and it, I, I find for us, it's like, it happens like in the moment, you know, it's always yeah. happened or in the room. He sends it to you. You listen yep. to it in your car. Yeah. Oh, we've had some car ideas. And you're jamming on it. Yeah. Car. One of our songs was written yeah. when I was driving in the car. I feel like you're always kind of collecting lyrics, but then like, you need to hear the music to know. Yep. What's gonna go on top? Yeah, there's been times where I'll send you like voice memos and you're like, does that even match to the music? And I'm like, I think so. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we, so far for us, it's been music first. Um, Except sometimes the music isn't quite done. Yeah. Then the lyrics come and yeah. we, that like, puts the glue yeah. in and then finishes the music. Yeah. It's, too sure. it's the calk. It's the calk. <laughs> <laughs> Given the many different bands slash artists that you all take inspiration from, will your songs differ greatly from one another in terms of style slash tone, or do you think you'll try and stay fairly similar for the first EP slash album? Damn! I think it's like different movies inside of one anthology. Ooh, so like... Kind of like American Horror Stories, episode five. No, <laughs> kind of. Yeah, kind of like that. Yeah. yeah. Well, so the, each song might be radically, not radically, best different. episode of the season. I, I think they definitely go together. It's them. They go together. They sound like they go together, but they have, you know, it's different same. inspiration within them. Mm -hmm. It's like both. But well, there's so always that sort of like through line that's yeah, very yeah. much yeah, yeah. us. You know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I would imagine a full album of songs you go through kind of a journey that kind of takes you yeah. through. A... I love songs that you, you almost have to listen to it start to finish, no shuffle. Album. An album. Or yeah. even an EP. Yeah. 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 Whew. Okay. Here we go. Ooh. Which part of the recording slash releasing process did you find the hardest? And were there moments where you thought the song wasn't going to be liked? What wasn't going to be like you imagined? This is Ronan Rubinstein, Italia. Love you guys. Ciao, bello. Ciao, bella. I know you're a... Uh, uh, how do you say girl in, in Italian? Focaccia. No, uh, Fugazi. <laughs> Fugazi. 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 Ragazzi. 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 Yeah, ragazzi. Ragazzi. Ciao. People saying that's what so like, so stupid. <laughs> so like, why are we watching these? Did you go to kindergarten, you fucking idiots? <laughs> no, guys, this is a good question. What part of the recording and releasing process did you find the hardest? I don't think uh, anything felt the hardest. I think some parts felt, I guess, nerve-wracking. And some parts felt sort of... Um, I don't know. I feel like it was a pretty smooth process for the first one. Yeah. You know, I think the hardest thing with any kind of artistic thing that you're creating for yourself, like not for like maybe your job, but like something that you're writing and doing on your own, it's hard to know when it's done. Mm -hmm. You're like, you could add more another guitar part, you can add more synths, you could keep mixing it, you could keep adding more harmony, like you could keep going. It's just, I think that's the hardest thing is just knowing when you're done. Um, but I think we just hit a good place where we knew like less is more. This is good. Let's leave it here. Not beat a dead horse. Let's give this horse CPR and take it for a ride on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. kind of what we did with this one because this was an old song that we dug out of the out of the ground. An old yeah. horse. It was like we got back back yeah. pocket. Like 
old like gum wrappers and yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, this was an old dead old horse. dead horse that was beaten, and then we gave it CPR, glue. and then we rode it on the beaches of Antigua. It was gorgeous. Yeah. Here's a good one. That's case you never want to. Here's a good one. How did your friends and families react to the song coming out worldwide? They won't speak to me. Anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the sound. I actually keep getting text messages from my mom, who's like this little Russian lady, and she keeps telling me she like. I haven't told you guys, but she like can't stop listening to the song. She'll like listen to it on Spotify. Your mom? Yeah, and then keep listening to it on YouTube. That's a good one. She's like, I can't stop listening to it. It's so good. My mom couldn't find it, figure out how to listen to it for a while, but um, yeah, she's she's really like she's happy that I'm like making music because she knows that makes me happy. So mm. she's like, I'm really excited that you're making music again. That's great. But what does she think about the actual song? She's like, that's Ronan. That's Ronan? <laughs> and, she, and I'm like, yes, mom, that's Ronan. She's just like, man. Yeah. yeah. She can't believe it. It's actually a fresh thing. <laughs> you, I, you, be yo. Yeah. I gotta do a fresh cover. Fresh the dog. We gotta feature fresh on a track, actually. That'd be crazy. What are you waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> you open the door so I can go out. <laughs> okay. Ooh, all right. So I think is it? Should we tease? Should we tease? Oh. No. We don't have to. Uh, we got we got these. What next? Well, one? here here. Have, let's just, just let's just let's just say high level. let's just say the question out loud. You guys mentioned before in one of your interviews that you have other songs that you have done but not yet finished. Will it be something different to Open Door? In parentheses, Broken Heart. Or something along the lines. This is Shirley, Cheryl's fifteen ten. Well, Shirley, you can't be serious. But don't call me Shirley. I think it's we brought our dad to the interview. Uh, yeah. Well, we we have one that we're thinking about. Thinking about it. It's mm -hmm. like similar, but different. Yeah, it's uh same as the other question. It's part of the same <laughs> anthology. It's just a different like yeah, movie. They, they it's a different together. adventure. Pretty well. They go. Yeah. They, lead, they follow one another yeah. very good. Very they complement. I'd say all the songs complement each other well. Um, you'll get a little bit something different because it's like, oh, this is this kind of song. This is this kind of song. But we we work on it together. So yeah, it's similar but different. Yeah. And, but still's got like a badass rock and roll sort of. Got your cheddar. You got your five tone. Got your yeah. monster. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's a, that's as much as well. We'll give away. It's good. It's good. <laughs> it's real good. That's all you need to know. It's good. Okay. Let's see. When are we getting more music? We'll see. We'll see. As soon as we, as soon as possible. As so soon as possible, we are ready to go. It takes time. Though. That's that's that, that's all we gotta say. Um, let's see. How and why did you choose the name of the band? We sort of spoke about that before. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, anyone curious about the name, go check out The Cars, a band called The Cars, really classic, the singer of The Cars produced a lot of really great music that you probably listen to, or your parents listen to, uh, from their self-titled album, there's a call, a song called Moving in Stereo, or Move in Stereo, great song, it's one of my favorite album covers of all time, is The Cars self-titled album, um, so that's, that's where it came from. Blank in Stereo. There's also a great band called Crime in Stereo. Check them out. So, uh, but also Nights in Stereo. We go out, we have fun, we listen to music. Having a night in stereo as we go out, we listen to music, we, we go to shows, we party at bars or dance on dance floors. And just having a night in stereo to me feels like a fun night out with your friends listening to great music and partying it's just like a night in stereo high def yeah and for some reason a lot of our writing sort of process happens at nighttime yeah um and it was happening in twos a lot like me and rod write ron and i write so in stereo it's two it's like listening on both ears so that was another thing yeah yeah that, i love the name man people love it too uh, fucking, and it looks visually so cool. Yeah. People hear it and you think like medieval knights in stereo, and that's kind of cool too, but <laughs> I don't ever want to use like medieval imagery for our band. 
Pro- yeah. Promise me that. Two. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be two. Unless we be. perform. I gotta at... cancel that music video concept then. We yeah, should just us in chunky armor. I'm actually trying to get us a house residency gig at Medieval Times. Would be fucking sick. Then we would change the spelling. <laughs> <laughs> we get that gig. We get Resident you. Friday nights. We're at Medieval Times every Friday night. Check out some nights, Friday nights, nights in stereo. Hey, right, here's a good one. <laughs> Which part of the creative process, from writing to releasing, did you enjoy the most? The question is for the three of you, so you can give different answers if you want. My favorite is hands down in the studio. That shit is exhilarating. Yeah. Like, especially with all the you know super fancy equipment that we have and like. You know, it's really amazing to hear that sort of sound at that quality with those speakers and that um, that uh, that equipment that Mike has. And then, like, I don't know, we would be like, ooh, ooh, we have an idea. And you could just, like, jump in and immediately record it. And it sounds insane. And um, we'll, we would be in there for, like, 12 hours every single time. And before we knew it, it was, like, 4 in the morning. Yeah. Um, it, it's, uh, it's, and it's such a unique experience. Like, I've never been in the music studio before it's such a it's a one of a kind of experience so definitely recording in the studio for sure yeah but obviously it helps to go in with ideas and stuff you know what I think nothing beats a good writing session mm-hmm. when you're vibing and jamming and you're like working on something and you're you're working it out and figuring it out and also just yeah when you're in the studio and you're laying stuff down and you're listening back and you're like you know, when you work with a really talented producer like we did, and he goes, wait, hold on a second. Boop, 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 boop. And then you listen back, and you're like, holy shit, that's us? This sounds so sick. Mm-hmm. Like, that's a great feeling. So I like that, too. Yeah. Plus, I also like eating snacks in the studio. That's fun. Snacks in the studio. Snacks in the stereo. studio. Snacks in stereo. <laughs> snacks in stereo. Snacks in stereo. You listen that should have been our name. Shit. Brought to you by Chex Mix. Um... Rod, I like. I'm a big jam proponent of jamming. I love to jam. We need the structures, chilies, jams. <laughs> Rod, gotta have writing sessions. Gotta have obviously studio time. But I love just like a free form. You're just going. Hey, with free form. Thing. My first TV show. Hey, dumb. <laughs> jamming stuff comes out that you didn't expect, and magic is made. It's true. What are some of these? Can I be added to ask a question? All right. I, I, I like I like this question because I feel like people need to know this. What instruments can you each play and who played what on Open Door? I can only sing. Um, John plays everything, basically. Yep. I play everything. The original demo is me on guitar, bass, and drums. And then on the about final it? recording, yeah. I'm keys... And the final recording is me on guitar, Ronan Rubin singing on the on the triangle. on the triangle and the vocals. Rod's on bass, um, and our producer Mike Riley did the drums on the final, final one. He yeah. kills it. So, John, you can pretty much play every major instrument, right? And some of the minor instruments too. <laughs> Is that a total musical joke? <laughs> I played, I was all district orchestra trombone player in middle school. Dude, I played trombone also in middle school. Okay, the fuck? My sister yeah. played the trombone as well. What? what? Why did we all play trombone? <laughs> I wanted to play trumpet in, in uh, elementary school, and then my band teacher, really weird, she just goes, Your lips are too big to play trumpet. Or she goes, You have trombone lips, or something like that. And I was like, Oh boy. That's weird, and also, I don't want to play the trombone, and when all the instruments came, like, they handed all the instruments out, and she gave me a trombone, and I was like, what the fuck is this? I want to play trumpet. She goes, no, you have trombone lips. And I was like, <laughs> this is weird. Okay, I guess. But I was really good at it. She was hey, right. I got trombone lips. Can't say that anymore. But then in high school, everyone wanted me to join their ska band, and I was not about that, so. Ska's dope, bro. All right, here's a question. I just got to put it out there. You guys don't have to answer this, but is there already an EP or album worth of music that we will get this year? So listen carefully. We have sort of inklings and demos and sort of ideas that we are, we will try everything in our power to put together 
in order to release an EP this, this year. That I can promise you. We will try our absolute best. Um, and that's the plan. It all depends on scheduling, studio, studio scheduling, time. our personal scheduling times. Um, because we're in a very fortunate and also it's a very interesting place. We all have our regular first sort of jobs and then music is sort of, you know, the thing that we do on the side. But we, uh, we very much hope to put an EP together for you guys as soon as possible. The ingredients are there. Yeah, the second just song stop we hope the to store put pick out. up a couple things. So you just got to get time in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, kitchen. Exactly. Okay, we got to get into the kitchen. Kitchen. Um, we need the right utensils. Yeah. There'll be more yeah. music this year. I would say an EP maybe this year, if not early next year. At the latest. I think we could get an EP out this year. I think so. I think so too. Let's uh, under, yeah. Let's under deliver and over. Yeah, let's over, over under promise and over deliver. Exactly. And I think on that note, let's take another shot. How you do? Boy. Just Listen, is my mom watching? Let's see. I won't tell you guys what Wait, scene favorite, I'm shooting what's tomorrow. Your favorite camera to use, John? Someone ask that? Yep. That is a great question. So I have a really incredible camera collection that I want to show off. Oh, okay, red is this, bro. Right? be sorry, ass. Right, which one is this? My uh, first favorite talk camera talk is right here. It's my Mamiya 645 medium format oh, film camera. Thing. This is my favorite camera. I'd say also, also my other favorite is my Leica M6. And six. For those who know, for those who know about, um, Ronin's trashed. <laughs> Someone wrote that. <laughs> if anyone knows about uh, cameras, they know this is the Holy Grail, the M6. I got a Leica Q, a Fuji X Pro 2. People. IG Live is currently happening on the nights in stereo. <laughs> 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 Also, I have a uh, Hasselblad. Um, what uh, Hasselblad? I have a Hasselblad. Uh, Hasselblad. CM five hundred. Is that David Hasselhoff in Russia? Target for you. Hasselblad. Olympus Hasselblad. five mark three. That's right. All right on. I like Olympus. That's great. Should I watch our Instagram live through my own page? No, we'll get feedback, dude. Whoa. We'll get feedback. We'll, 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 we'll so get you guys pouring up a shot? Do we, do we, did you take it? Schwitzing. No, I'm not, no. Who it's hot. Okay. Let me get back to the questions. <laughs> Guitar gear, what do you use? <laughs> right on, that's a good question. Um, on, on Open Door, we used a uh, Fender Strat. This one right here, it's yeah, a Ventura Strat. Show uh, the goods. American made, maple neck. Uh, we also used a uh, Fender... <laughs> Jazzmaster, double like humbuckers, how you doing? Yeah. That was also used on this track. Humbuckers. Um, we also used a uh, Gibson Les Paul that doesn't belong to me. And we also used... His baby, that's new. Uh, e, uh, what is this one? Yeah, LTD <laughs> Eclipse. Love that's this, a, uh, that's active a EMG rock. pickups. And then for bass, we used... Squire... 70s P bass. Young Squire. Maple neck as well. Damn, he should have like a show displaying guitars. And See, that's, that's our show. That, uh, and, and then for amp wise, we used um, orange uh, ro uh, rocker verb, I believe. Guitar, Mark, uh, guitar uh, stereo. Mark II. Yeah. All right. Okay, shots and stereo. Let's everybody. Shots and stereo. <laughs> Hangover and stereo. Wow. Well. Jesus. Australia. This comes from Steph at Aussie Tarlos. How did you feel when you first started seeing the very first reactions to Open Door from your Australian fans? It was bananas, dude. <laughs> it was so surreal because it uh, it was so positive and it was uh, it was a lot to be completely honest. And um, yeah, it was really surreal and. Uh, I just couldn't believe it. It 
was um, it was just amazing to see, and you guys were streaming it. You guys are still streaming it to this day. Uh, so yeah, thank you. It was yeah, it was. I think surreal is just like the best word. It was just crazy to see people finally having it, um, and I love that we did it out in the world. Sort of each time zone gets it. I think you know, Ronan. Obviously, you're used to like people consuming things that you do, but not at this level. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like people, you have like fans in Australia. Yeah. I've never like done anything where like people were like, we love this in Australia. Like, I don't think I've yeah. ever made anything that's had that reach before. So I think, Ooh. you know, it was um, kind of nerve wracking. Like I felt like I was like, holy shit. Like, wait, is this, is this good? Like, Am I embarrassing myself? No, like people, this is okay, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, everyone thinks it's okay. Yeah, okay, cool. They like it. In yeah. Australia, it's yeah, cool. 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 It's a place to have. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That first I'd love to go there sometime. Oh my, imagine doing a show there. Now, <laughs> it's near. Hey. Yeah, good one. <laughs> hey. Hi. How you going? Hi. <laughs> Not We're not making fun of you guys. We I really admire him, actually. Shout out uh, Luke Steele and Daniel Johns, my homies from Australia. Here's a good question. This is from Miss Pamela. Miss Pam. What's up, Pam? You're, you're the best. Uh, I, we haven't received your wine yet because I haven't picked it up, but we have nights and stereo wine. No way. I don't drink, but thank you. We get the OLs in the chat on that one? Come on. Come on, we got some art. Uh, we got some like art. Alright, alright, alright. Come on. Come on. Alright, alright, alright. It's a laggy. Alright. How many vinyl records, dude? I am spitzing right yeah, now. Right, How many vinyl records do each of you own, and what was your first record bought, and the one you have listened to the most? This guy's got the craziest collection. I have the biggest collection. Big Hands down. Old collection. Yeah, I think I have. The last time I checked my Discogs account, if anyone wants to follow me on Discogs, I'm at Johnny Shoes. <laughs> um, I think I'm at 238 or something like that. Vinyl? Vinyl records, yeah. Vinyl. And the first one I ever bought was Warpaint. Um, my buddy Doug took me to go see Warpaint. I never listened to their music before in my life. I went to go see him play at the Fonda Theater in LA, and it was the best show so I've ever seen in my whole life. And it was a band I never even heard of. And I bought their vinyl, and I didn't even own a record player. I just was like, it was the greatest thing I ever saw. So I bought a Warpaint record, and that started my whole collection. And that was when we lived together. 2017. 2017, that's when I started my record collection, and I'm at 230-something. And then what do I play the most? You, the one you got me for my birthday, no has way. not, come off, the, not no. come off the player since I got it. Acetone 92 to the compilation. Yeah. The uh, four four discs? Three discs? Yeah. Acetone 92 to 2001. Yeah. Good wow. shit. I got like uh And that Japanese uh, oh, uh, jazz yeah. record from the 70s, which I can't remember. Oh, yeah, he's amazing. Yeah, yeah. I have like around 100, and uh, the most is probably Harry's very first record, which, which is actually very uh, crucial to our relationship, because it's... Uh, uh, it's short story. <laughs> it was a great story. I, I'm living with John for like what a week or yeah, so, no, like, and probably like two or three days. Yeah, and Johnny's at a bar, and you know he's been drinking, and uh, I don't, I don't drink. yeah, he doesn't drink. And I and I pick him up in my car. And we didn't really know each other. We didn't really know each other, which is weird. And I still have like long hair. I look like Tarzan. I have like this obnoxious sports car. And this guy knows nothing about me. I know nothing about him. And I'm like, hey, I'm going to pick you up from the bar. I'll take you back home. And I, I pick him up, and I'm like, yo. Wait, wait, wait. Which I was thinking, this is a great roommate. Because he was <laughs> like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm drunk at the bar. And he's like, I'll come pick you up. Yeah. And I was like, this is going great Clutch. so yeah. far. <laughs> and I'm like, I pick him up, and I, and I never forget. I, he gets in the car, and I'm like, Johnny, before we leave, Harry Styles. And he's like, Harry Styles. And I'm like, yeah, the guy from One Direction. I'm like, trust me, he just released an album. It's the greatest thing ever. He's like, no fucking way. And I'm like, yes. And I play it. And... Din it, din it. What, what? We're, we're blasting down we're blasting Sunset. Moment. And we're going down Sunset Boulevard. And I'm hanging out the yeah. window. I don't even know the word, but I'm like what, singing. What? Yeah, it was awesome. 
Yeah, so that album is very important to us. Um, it's sort of my moving to California oh, album. Hi, Haley. Oh, sweet. Um, so yeah, I got like a hundred, around a hundred, and that's my most played album. What about you, Roddy? Uh, I think I have probably, if you don't count like all the... Oh, counting, well, okay, counting all the Jewish albums that my mom gave me, I have probably a hundred. Do you I'm, need a beer? Yeah, I'll take uh, yeah. Give me one of those hard. Uh, you guys need a beer? Yeah, if you. It's just us. <laughs> you and me, finally. <laughs> Alright, uh, so we have something to announce. Igor. Uh, uh, yeah. Big announcement. Tonight. Yeah. We're getting married. <laughs> Dude, couldn't, can't, can't say it in front of John, though. Yeah, he, he might get jealous. He doesn't support in the institution of marriage. Hey, buddy. Vinny's in the chat. For those of you that don't know, this is Johnny's doggy. This is Vinny. Vinny, how much do ah. you have? Oh, that's so big. This is Vinny. This is our little boy. Hello. He's a sweetie. He's our very much our studio dog. He, when when we record or write, he sits. He lays right in the middle of all the mayhem and loves loud music. And oh, Vinny. Vinny. Is Vinny in the shot? Vinny made the Vinny made the video. Oh, Jesus. Work is gonna be rough tomorrow. That's my sweet little oh, baby. Oh, my Ooh, name is Vinny. That's my boy. <sighs> Vinny, come here. You said how all the people are in? Oh. I won't tell you guys what scene I'm shooting tomorrow because you will know. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Okay. Super Bowl Sunday. LA Rams, baby! Alright, maybe like a couple, a couple more questions? Maybe like yeah. one or two more. Yeah, yeah. I feel like we should we need to get play some air. I feel like we should play the song. Let's play the song while, 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 while answering this question. Wow, wow, Wes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, scooch to that one. Yeah, hey, I'll scooch to you. Alright. Rotate around. We're gonna play the song with you guys on IG Live. And, uh, and then we're gonna attempt to get some sleep. Because we all got work tomorrow. See, we're very responsible. We stopped drinking before 9 p.m. Always go to work. It's only 8 o'clock. Yeah, it's only 8 o'clock. Oh my god, Vinny. That's the end. Uh, oh my god, Vinny! Oh, Vinny. Vinny. oh no. What do you do? I spilled, <laughs> I spilled beer on his head. Oh, bro, man. Look what's, look what's open my computer right now. LA Chrysler for music. Metallic. A Metallica tank top for so many dollars in Cardina. What's that Gibson? And a 12 string Gibson acoustic for $700. <laughs> Looks like a piece of shit. <laughs> put, put our song on. Playing on YouTube. Oh, he's playing on YouTube. Everybody, uh, play, play the song along with us, whatever your streaming preference is. We greatly appreciate you. Come on. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, feedback loop. Tomorrow we'll be waking up to over 75,000 streams oh, and we're grateful for every single one of you guys. Thank you very much. Alright. Alright. Oh, I look better in this trash. I've been sitting here the whole time. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Tonight's hysteria. Cheers, everybody. Happy Sunday. Good night, guys. Hey, shout out to anybody from Rockland County or the Hudson Valley region in New York, New York City, New York, uh... Tri-state area. Let's go. <laughs> we have crazy guitarists. You got any Rockland, Rockland County people out here? He's out of his mind, guys. Man, this song rocks. What are people saying? Whatever you say to us, keep it, guys. Bro, this is my favorite song ever. Oh, hi, Melinda. Run and say hi, Melinda. Hi, Melinda. Let's go. Oh, Erica Louie, big shout out. Erica! Erica, we How love you! How many times have you listened to your song? 4,000 times? I do it like once a week. Nova Scotia. Scotia. I heard you listen to our song once a week? What's wrong with you? No, I'm kidding. Oh. Ronan, can you tell happy birthday to Sunflower? TK, TK Sunflower. Sunflower. Oh, I love TK Sunflower. Happy birthday, babe. India, hey. Annie Vigil. Happy from India, hey. Hi, Nick. <laughs> Hi, Nick. He's high. Wow. Kajaz is, is a uh, is a narc. He's high. Is there a cop in the chat? Rochester, New York. What up? I want to school in Albany, New York. Love from Brazil. Hi, Brazil. Brazil's cool. Brazil's cool. Run should sing live right now for us. 
Please She's wish Jock a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Jock. It's Joss. Joss, I'm sorry. Happy, happy birthday, Joss. Joss. From KY, is that Kentucky? Kentucky. Kentucky, uh, shout out Knocked Loose, best hardcore band in the game right now, from Kentucky. Australia, hello Ruby. Virginia, what's up? <laughs> Ohio, what up? <laughs> this is so awesome. Wait, let's start it this way. So Johnny doesn't look like a fucking lunatic. Alright, All right, do we you have go. any more questions? Let's answer a couple, like, two more questions. Guys, up. throw us questions in the comment section right here. We gotta get some rest. Hi from oh, France. Oh, from Mexico. Hola. North Carolina. Hola, William. Caribbean LMAO. <laughs> <laughs> Hi from the Caribbean. Hi, Caribbean. Are there any questions? Hi from the UK. We love you. What's here. your belly button smell like? <laughs> Cotton candy. Like Modelo. <laughs> when will you be done? <laughs> Soon. You. <laughs> what made you start music? Uh, I was really bad at sports as a kid. My dad hi, bought me a guitar. Hi, Zoe from Scotland, Glasgow. Hey, from Boston. Hey, what's yeah. up? Tom Brady's a god from Boston. <laughs> <laughs> this is your favorite part of recording the song. You need to come to Arizona. Guys, we'll, we'll try to play all over the world if we can. I eat oh. music video. Music video, good question. I'd like to do a music video. You guys know? For, for open door for sure soon. Yeah. Well, hi, Matt. TK, please say hi, Matt. TKY2K. Shoulder. Hi, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's run. Like you comment. How nervous were you to release the song? Australia, we love Australia. Very excited. Love to play in Australia. Australia's awesome. Oh my god, somebody called me Roman. <laughs> I can't say hi if you're calling me Roman. <laughs> Alright, you guys. Thank you for this. Roman Lichtenstein. We've been around 300 people consistently. We love you guys. Can't wait to wake up tomorrow. Hey, shout out Connecticut. Shout out to the... Uh... Alright. To the loop. That part gets me fucking crazy. Shout out to the uh, Mystics Aquarium in Connecticut. That shit rocks. And Bristol, Connecticut. No, please rocks. Then. Shalom, everyone. Are you all going to be hung over tomorrow? Oh, and you know what? I'm looking over at our YouTube. Favorite snack? That's a great question. Last question oh, of the day. What's your favorite snack? Gushers. Favorite snack? Gushers? Popcorn. Oh, shit. With M&M's in it. Guys, I think we can do better on YouTube than that. Go stream it on YouTube. Go stream on Spotify. We got exciting announcements coming up. Sunflower seeds. I'm answering for John. He loves Thank sunflower Thank you, seeds. everybody. Yeah. Sunflower seeds you. or popcorn, too, actually. Popcorn. Bah. I stole yours. Gushers There's nothing run. better than Gushers. Bye. We love right. you guys. Bye, everybody. I think our ladies are watching the IG Live. Yeah, they are. They're making we love you guys. Yeah, and...